Okay, now that the trailer is more useful. So now I gotta turn my attention on the, the being proud to pull this part. And uh, these fenders are definitely nothing to be proud of. I'm gonna try to beat these straight. See if I can't get them decent looking. And if I can't, I guess I'll have to order some new ones, but. First thing I gotta do is jack this up and I'll get the tires off. like the NASCAR guy. Well, I got a little surprise. There are two surprises in my tire here. A little, pe little chunk of something and a big chunk of something. Got to pull that out. I don't know if that's gonna Need a plug or not, but... I'm going to go ahead and put some gas pedals under this thing, just in case. Now the real work. just beat up too bad but I think I can get them so they're straight enough to be respectable okay I got this part pretty close to where it's going to be and you can see that this is all bent up here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start where it's straight put the big hand big hammer back there and use a littler one. Okay, after a bunch of beating and a huge blister later, uh, I'm pretty close. Uh, I broke some welds. Repair weld right there I gotta fix. Another weld that they fixed on it, but it's pretty close. Um, there is a, they put a brace under there and I think they did it after they bent it and the fenders pushed down a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm not sure if I should cut that out and try to straighten it or not. Well, I'm this far into it. I guess I'm going to just cut this brace off. Fix it right.
guys is if you use your tongue. Just stick that baby out. Well, I believe that's good enough for me. I cut that brace out, just hit it a few times, and that center come right up, so I'm happy with that. I got to uh, put a new brace in there now that it's straight. I got to re-weld some of the welds that broke and then uh, move on to the other side but I won't be doing that tonight I'm done for the night okay I'm back out here and this inner fender has broken loose from the main fender so first off I gotta weld that back on it's all ready and I found these big clamps work really well for holding that tight against that. Okay, I got the underside of the in inner fender welded back on and it already, fender already feels tighter with, even without that center brace yet. So um, <clears throat> I couldn't really run a continuous bead because this uh, inner fender is kind of thin. So I was kind of just kind of spotting it but it's good and solid now. Okay, I got all the cracks welded up, ground down. Now I'm working on the center support. I'm just gonna use the old one only I'm going to weld it in better and the fender is going to be straight when it does go in so it should hold up um, I've got the metal all prepped where it's going cleaned off uh, that really is the key to a good weld having your metal prepped you can have the best welder money can buy but if you don't if you don't prep your metal it still ain't going to weld very good Probably have to post this video because it's probably getting pretty long at this point. I'll probably show you some video of work on the other fender in the next video. Well, that's it for me. This brace and this fender isn't going anywhere now. So, rate, comment, and subscribe guys if you like this video.